Okay, there are definitely other things that I'm meant to be doing today, but you know when you get an idea and you just can't shake it? Because I was looking at these little watercolor bamboo pads that I have. You'll probably remember these from my miniature house series, the zines of which I will be restocking as soon as possible. But I also just recently mentioned these in my studio tour video. And on the comments of that video, I got loads of suggestions from you guys on ways that I could fill these with little drawings. And then as I was thinking about that, I thought, what if we go even smaller? So I looked online to see if anyone else had done something similar. And of course Jazza has because Jazza's done everything. And he actually has the same sponsor on that video as I do on this video, NordVPN, but I will be talking about them later. Um, he basically did a ring bound sketchbook. He went in, but I am more of a stitched case bound kind of person. So this is where I'm at so far. I've got this paper. These are four pages that I ripped quite inconspicuously, I might say, from an Art Gecko sketchbook that I have. And the reason I chose this paper in particular is that I know that it handles water decently well, um, but it also um, is quite thin. I think it's like 190 GSM. And I think for a very small book, I want to be able to fold these and not have it be like too puffy. I want it to be able to close. So I wanted to go for the thinnest paper possible that I know can moderately handle wet media. So now I'm going to cut these down into smaller pieces. I want a deckled edge to all the pages. I just love the look of sketchbooks with the deckled edges. So instead of using scissors, I'm tearing along the edge of a ruler. And I don't have any particular measurements for this in mind. I'm just sort of eyeballing it and playing it by ear. I don't even know if any of this is going to work in the end. Now time to fold these and stack them together. I think I'll do them in pairs. And these batches of pages are called signatures. I've ended up with four, but if you look at them all lined up together, you can see it's already starting to look like a book. So now I just need to think about what method I want to use to stitch these together and bind them into an actual book. I'll leave a link below to this channel, Sea Lemon. Um, I've made a few of my own sketchbooks in the past and this is always my first place to go when I need to know what to do. Also, Pear Fleur has some beautiful and calming book binding videos that I will leave linked below as well. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a kettle stitch binding for this one just because I don't want something that's too fiddly because of the size of this book, but I do want something that's strong enough to hold everything together. Also, I want the thread inside to be quite minimal um, just because of the size of these pages. There isn't a lot of real estate. I don't want all of it being taken up with twine. So marking where I will put the holes one centimeter apart and transferring that onto all of them. Now I will poke those holes through. Need to keep them in order. Also, if you want some thorough instructions on this, Jennifer from Sea Lemon, she knows her stuff. I'll have her in-depth tutorial link below. And now I suppose it's time to start stitching.
it's so cute. Okay, I need to glue this part and I'll probably need to think about making some kind of cover for this now. So I'm gonna head into the studio where I have everything, I should have everything to finish this off. And now to work on the cover. I think a piece of card like this will do just fine. I want it sort of softish, like stiff enough to protect the pages inside, but flexible too. So I think this will do. And I am honestly just gonna eyeball this. This whole project is very impromptu. So nothing too precise. I might actually cover this in fabric. I did grab these fabric samples that I have left over from when I reupholstered my sofa and I thought it might just give it a nicer finish. So just gonna see what I've got. I think I might go for this one. Would that make a nice little book? I think that could be cute. Okay, I am just gonna slather this in glue and hope that it sticks. Okay, and while I wait for that to dry, I can work on doing the same for this thing. Right, well, I guess while we wait for that to set, I can talk to you about today's sponsor, NordVPN. Now, you might have noticed I am really picky about accepting new sponsorships on my channel, but when NordVPN got in touch, I was interested straight away because I've actually been using and paying for NordVPN for about two years now anyway. I have it on my computer, like my web browsers, I have it on my phone as well, and I actually got it through a YouTube deal, like the one that I now have for you guys. I think mine was from a Gus Johnson video. So if you don't know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, which is basically a service that protects your internet connection and your privacy online. So all your data, your IP address and web traffic, it gets essentially funneled through an encrypted tunnel that protects it from all prying eyes. So obviously if you're using public Wi-Fi, you don't want everything that you're doing and all of your data being accessible to hackers. But even at home, like I said, I have it on my home computers. You can minimize your online footprint um, so that your internet service provider can't sell your browsing history off to the highest bidder. Another great use for NordVPN is if you want access content on streaming services like Netflix or even YouTube, you know, the stuff that comes up as like blocked or not available available in your country, you can access that. With Netflix and other streaming platforms, there's so much more content available if you open up your library to what's available worldwide. And NordVPN can temporarily change your IP address to one from whatever country that you would like. There's 24 seven customer support and a 30 day money back guarantee. So if your online security is something that you've been thinking about at all, you can check it out at nordvpn.com forward slash mini or use code mini to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. So huge thanks to NordVPN for the discount code and for sponsoring this portion of the video. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we still have a little bit of waiting to do on this one. Stay out of pain But 
thinking if I glue these pages down to the cover hopefully we'll end up with some kind of book What a fun little day project. I even ended up making a second one just because I wanted to see what a different cover would look like on here. And I love them both. I think they've turned out so cool. I cannot wait to use these. And I guess that could end up being one of our next videos. Let me know if you have any suggestions of things that I could put in here, teeny tiny drawings and paintings. Oh gosh, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this little um, folly. I haven't done any of the other things that I was meant to do today, but you know what? I've made a tiny sketchbook. I've made two tiny sketchbooks, so can't complain. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have, and I guess I will see you soon for the next video. Bye.